welcome to my coloring chat and uh, what I did from last time was I just filled out this part this yellow part with uh, water and um, sorry that I ended abruptly <laughs> but yeah uh, and I'm going to continue with this image and, uh, and yeah hopefully we will have nice coloring chat together so I'm just gonna start to fill out um, yeah some, some things in the background and uh, that I think needs a little touch but yeah and disclaimer for this video uh, I am NOT an English speaker so sometimes I just might fumble with the words and not find the exact word that I'm looking for but uh, that is yeah I'm just using my watercolor pencils and right now, now I'm just using it as a as a dry medium to get a certain effect. And I'm sorry about <laughs> if you hear someone snoring in the background. It's just my boyfriend taking a nap. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I will be recording this in advance. Uh, I will be uploading this on Friday. Um, but I am recording this on Tuesday. And the reason for that is on Friday. Um, no, on Thursday, I will go be heading south to pick up the puppy and we will be picking him up on Friday about maybe two o'clock in the afternoon and that is when I plan to have this video uploaded um, so yeah so two o'clock is the appointment for us to pick up the puppy at the kennel seems a little bit unreal uh, so me and my boyfriend had just been referring our puppy as the puppy or the dog we haven't said like oh Cosmo that is his going to be his name um, so when we speak to each other, we're like, ah, oh, the dog, the dog, or the puppy, the puppy, the puppy, but never his actual name. Because <laughs> it sort of feels a little bit unreal, I guess, for both of us, because we both wanted a dog for so long. I don't know, I, I guess we just don't want to jinx it somehow. So yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, I will be not able to color as much since, since you know, I I am so we sort of have to spend a lot of time with the puppy now. At least uh, the couple of first week, making sure that the puppy knows what what is okay, what is not okay, um, making sure that our cat doesn't <laughs> doesn't slaughter him or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's good with dogs, otherwise, you know. She used to live with two other dogs before we got her, so she's good with dogs. She usually just ignored them when they come for visit we have a couple of friends or a couple of people that we know that do have dogs and sometimes they come over with their dog and she just blanks blankly ignores them uh, so yeah so 
so I guess that will be okay with her until she realized that this dog is going to stay with us <laughs> it's not going away so we gotta have some some you know observance have to observe when they interact with their, each other and yeah this one and this pencil I used it a lot it's kind of short but yeah I will be quite busy and yeah I have to write this scientific paper for a class I'm doing this summer and it's incredibly boring subject <laughs> I have to do this Swedish class during the summer and my scientific report is about the literacy how how I don't know how to describe it, like um, how the book printing um, process, how the book print actually changed change the way people um, read and how it affected the literacy rate in Europe. So. Now, the historical part I find interesting, but the other part, no, <laughs> not my cup of tea. What I really wanted to write about in my scientific report was how uh, the book printing was used as in the Middle Ages how it was used as a tool for for propaganda but since this is um, since this is a language course I have to write about language history so yeah It's mostly, it's mostly sort of like um, a credit for for university. When I go to university, your university, they expect me to be able to write scientific reports, and um, so I sort of have to take this class and write this report uh, because of it. And uh, I was not able to choose the subject. Uh, well, I had two cho two options. Uh, either I would write about this, or I would write about a min minority language in Sweden, and one language that happens to be a minority language in Sweden have, happens to be Finnish. And since I have Finnish roots, my father came from Finland and he spoke Finnish. I was like, yeah, I can write about that. But <laughs> um, I really didn't feel like it. So I chose this instead. Yes, because because I don't know. I I really didn't like to 
write about something that is purely language based or literary based literature based so I chose this because it has an historical uh, aspect to it so that is something I am quite interested in Sorry, that was just my boyfriend. <laughs> <clears throat> He's making more sound than me. <laughs> So yeah, I, I don't know what to talk about. Well, I have what I have going on in my life. I have the puppy right now. We bought a lot of puppy, puppy food. Puppa, puppy pellets? No, puppy pebbles. So we bought him some dry food. Uh, with a lot of chicken in it and it was this huge bag like really huge like I think it says on the package that it is like 15 kilograms and yeah that is I think it's about maybe 35 pounds I don't know I'm not that great of converting units but I'm guessing it's 35 pounds give or take a few pounds thankfully we didn't have to carry it all the way from the store to our apartment we I uh, got some help with that from Sebastian's dad. Um, he drove us there with his car. And yeah. So we didn't have to carry it all the way. I've been having some technical difficulties like the last video ended up being two parts and I really don't like that but I didn't have much of a choice because the camera camera stops recording and makes a new file after four gigabytes and that is after 33 minutes and uh, and yeah if you want to make if you use the the video cutting tool in uh, on youtube and uh, you can't really paste together two clips that is or making it a total over an hour so so yeah I had to break it up in two parts and um, 
and I don't like that at all. But what I do can, <laughs> but, but what I can do is, um, sorry for bad English, uh, what I can do is that I make two parts, one is 33 minutes and the other one is like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And that way I can upload those two videos and uh, cut those two pieces together. And that makes for a video that is about 45 minutes. So that works. So that is what I'm thinking about doing in this video. So I sort of researched the problem why um, why it cuts after 33 minutes and try to figure out how to sort of, I don't know, hack that or disable that function. But yeah, you sort of have to format your SD card. And I did that. I did that on my computer and it still didn't work when I tried it. So I guess for now, I just have to go with go with this and making two parts and then, you know, pacing them together. So, uh, yeah. Now, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, I turned 28, don't like getting older, <laughs> I'm getting old, and I did get, now I sort of considered the dog as, as a birthday person since it's that close within my birthday, it's like within a week, it's like four days in between. So I did consider our dog as a birthday present to me. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, otherwise than that, I, I did get a coloring book. I did get um, Mythomorphia. I saw it in a news stand and I was like, oh my God, it's Mythomorphia, I have to have it. So my boyfriend bought it for me and I was so happy. And I plan on start to coloring it in it next month. Uh, I have so many coloring books now. <laughs> uh, I know some of you guys have like massive collection, but for me, I have almost 10, I think almost 10 coloring books. And that is a bit overwhelming to me. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to get uh, other the other Kirby Roseanne coloring books. I do have uh, Animorphia, but the postcard version. But I wouldn't mind getting the the full size book since I do like his style of drawing and I also like coloring in animals <laughs> yeah yeah I, I like I think the things I like to color are animals because I can sort of kind of make them realistically and then I like to color folklore creatures or mythological creatures because they don't exist I guess <laughs> no I'm I, I always been very interesting in both sub 
objects so I guess that is when I like to color in so so yeah if I will be finishing this one off screen because I think it might take a lot of coloring chat just to finish one but then again uh, one of the things that is so great with with coloring chat or I mean with coloring in general is you don't have to rush it like the point with it is just to relax so so the they should not be like prestige or you know I colored this much and I have to publish it or I you know um, I see some people are rushing and uh, trying to make this and that much each month and uh, yeah making this too stressful hobby when it's supposed to be the opposite and the same thing goes with some people find it intimidating when they see when they see other people making beautiful images and they say, "Oh, I can't not possibly do anything like that." And it's not really about making pretty picture. Well, it is sort of about it, but the main focus, I think, with coloring should be um, just to do something that helps you relax there's nothing wrong trying to um, improve I guess but there shouldn't be like this pressure over that oh you you are coloring you have to be this and that good and I think that sort of beats the purpose. Maybe I should <laughs> should um, sharpen it. Yeah, I think the trouble with this is <laughs> I just want to color. I don't want to chat. I, I just want to color. I don't want to talk. Uh, and I guess that is sort of, you know, the point. You get so relaxed. At least I am. I get relaxed from just coloring. I wish I could do this all the time. Uh, and hopefully and hopefully I don't know not to live off it but you know just sit and color all the time that's what I want to do but I got other things that I sort of have to do I have to do this course this summer course and I need to study this fall. I 
Sure, I don't need to or have to, but I do want to. You know, it's stuff that I want to be studying. I don't know, it just feels like um, I don't have enough time, really. <laughs> um, yeah, it's starting to get warmer. Yeah, it's been a very cold and dry summer, but now it is getting warmer. Uh, I always said to my boyfriend that the warmest days of the, of the year is always on my birthday. And yesterday it wasn't so... It wasn't so hot, but it was very humid and I was like sweating like crazy. Trying to figure out where I should put the colors. But yeah, it's very, very humid right now. And today it's a bit warmer. I went to the library because I had to borrow some books about um, about um, medieval history. Because I, I know that a lot of teachers don't like it when you use websites as sources. Um, so I just can't do everything on the internet. I have to have some books that um, support my, my evidence. So I got some books today. Uh, that I'm going to read after I have finished with my coloring chat. And it's about uh, Gutenberg's life, he who invented uh, uh, the book press. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get some answers. Um, for my, for my questions that I have in my scientific report and yeah, I did want to borrow some books about puppies, but my backpack got full of books that I sort of had to borrow. So what I'm hoping with my coloring chat is that my uh, talking skills becomes better. Like I know I have good English. I, in, you know, I used to live in Ireland for about a year, and I managed to live and work there and study. Um successfully but 
when I get nervous, my my English just cracks up and crumble. <laughs> so hopefully this these coloring chat um, helps me get more more relaxed and more confident with my English. So what I did work with when I was in Ireland was that uh, was I worked with um, on assembly line. It was not not as fun <laughs> as they describe it to be. So I basically uh, pushed down. So the thing was uh, so. You know the whiskey Jameson? Yeah, um, I was on the assembly line and they had, they have like a special edition. I don't know if it was for that year or if it, they do this every year, but for Christmas they have like these tin boxes. I don't drink whiskey so I don't really know if they have those special edition Christmas tin boxes every year or if it just was that year. But yeah, I was um, handling those. So I was on the assembly line and I just, you know, put the bottles into tin boxes and the lid of the tin boxes and uh, was extremely hard to press down so at the end of my my very first uh, work shift my thumbs that i used to push down the lids had bruises because it was i did it so many times that my <laughs> thumbs started to bruise and it was so painful the next day, day when I had to do that thing all over again. It was not fun, but it did pay good. And it was sort of a very, very mundane task to do as well. <laughs> Just gonna sharpen this. So yeah, and uh, I did study acting in uh, in Dublin, and it was just like this, like I don't know, like three month course of acting. And at this point in time in my life, and uh, my social anxiety was at a tremendous level. I had so hard to just get out of the house and um, doing these acting classes actually helped me a lot. So I did consider like going in uh, acting as a job, but then I soon realized that it wasn't really for me. <laughs> but yeah. I do think it's fun to act though. Um, but I don't ever think I would make a career out, out of it. Because all... Because he, our acting teacher... Uh, really made it so I think I shouldn't uh, I don't know um well he really made made it sound what it actually was that you you sort of work like an onion 
putting layer on layer and it was so um, I don't know becoming some point someone else is very energy consuming so I'm sort of glad that I didn't go try to start an acting career it would take up so much time and energy and I don't think I would ever get a role even <laughs> I did some auditions uh, but I never got anything, so I quit quite fast with that. And uh, now I'm here studying biology and Swedish. Something I would like to do is uh, speed drawing. You know, when you see someone do like a full picture and they speed it up tremendously. But yeah, no, um, why I wanted to become a biologist in the first place was um, so the thing was we have a cabin up north we live up north but we have a cabin way much more up north uh, in Sweden and uh, and it is where with um, Sort of like the mountain chain of um, of the scans and uh, the mountains between um, Sweden and Norway and that is where we sort of have our cabin and when we the first summer we had the ca cabin uh, we noticed that there were a lot of um, a lot of Arctic foxes up in the mountains, and there is a scientific is a science um, center nearby that area that uh, they study these Arctic foxes and they are trying their best to save them because during the 1930s they were nearly extinct because people wanted fur coats and the Arctic fox fur is very first of all it's it's a um, type of fur that fur that needs to withstand arctic conditions so it's very dense and very thick and very soft so that sort of type of fur was very sought after but in the 1930s they banned hunting of uh, arctic foxes and the population has ha has had trouble to regain its strength so even now like 80 year after the ban they still have trouble um, still have trouble to repopulate sorry if you can hear that that's just my boyfriend's phone But 
but yeah, I I want I wanted to help uh, the Arctic fox. That's why that's why I want to be a biologist. Um, maybe I will be specializing in in ecology. I don't know. Take that bridge when I get there. First, I need to be able to uh, get enough credits to so I can get to univer <laughs> university. So, so yeah. I know a lot of people talking about different TV series. Uh, I don't usually watch TV series, but one series that I do enjoy and I follow a lot is um, Game of Thrones. And uh, yeah, we have HBO Nordic, so we can watch it within 24 hours after the USA premiere so me and my boyfriend watched it yesterday when it was my birthday and don't be afraid I'm not going to spoil anything all I can say is um, if you don't watch Game of Thrones I and if you're not too grossed out by blood, sex, and violence. I highly recommend that show. But yeah. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at that and um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!